Hello everyone, happy World Book Day. That was a busy one. We've been sharing lots of books. It was great to see all the books you brought in from home and to have lots of reading time at school as well as tell you a little bit about me as a reader and Miss Oliver and Miss Frankish and Miss Haynes. And also we had a very special assembly where um, we read my book with no pictures out and um, we did our Goldilocks wrap as well. So next week, like I said in the assembly, every day is World Book Day at our school. We love books all of the time and we always talk about them. And on Monday, we've got a new story. It's Jack and the Beanstalk. And I'm spoiled for choice today. We've got hundreds of versions of Jack and the Beanstalk in school, but you know I love Nick Sharrett and I absolutely love these this version. So this is Jack and the Beanstalk. It's by Nick Sharrett and Stephen Tucker has illustrated it. And I always like to sit somewhere different for the story. And this is our new reading area in Attenborough class. I'll try and show you. Oh, that's a chair. <laughs> and we've got a very cosy bean bag here, and lots of lovely cushions, and the bubble lamp, which just makes it really nice and cosy. I hope it's not too noisy on the video. Okay, Jack and the Beanstalk. I'll try and do some good voices. Okay. Jack and his mom were really poor, and things had got so bad that now, that now they had to sell their cow, which made Jack very sad. He had got halfway to market when a man said, Stop, my boy. I'll swap your cow for magic beans. They'll bring you lots of joy. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, they just look like boring beans, don't they? I don't think they're going to do anything special. The lad replied, You've got a deal. Real magic beans. Yippee. I just can't wait to see Mum's face. Won't she be pleased with me? Mum wasn't pleased. You silly boy, she snapped and she shook her head. The beans went on the compost heap and Jack was sent to bed. Poor Jack, he didn't realise, did he? So the beans have gone into that soil. wonder what will happen. Next day, he woke up early. He went outside, he got a fright. Those magic beans had turned into a beanstalk overnight. The massive plant reached to the sky, said Jack. I'd love to know what's at the top. And up he climbed. Mum called, mind how you go. Wow, I wonder if you'd be brave enough to climb up there. It's like clip and climb. He scrambled up from leaf to leaf till high up on a cloud. He saw a great big castle with a sign, no kids allowed. But Jack was brave. He tiptoed in. He couldn't believe his eyes. For everything around him was the most gigantic size. Look how enormous everything is. An enormous chair, box and a huge mug. All at once he heard... It came from somewhere near. Inside a basket sat a hen. She said, hello, my dear. The hen said, I'm a special bird. I laid gold eggs, I do. And Jack said, you don't remember me, but I remember you. And look, there's the gold eggs. Wow. Jack could sell those for lots of money, couldn't he? For once upon a time, my child, when you were just knee high, a giant stole me from your house and made your poor mum cry. He also took a golden harp and lots of money too. Said Jack, well, I shall take you back. And the hen cried, good for you. So we know it's wrong to steal, don't we? But the hen did belong to Jack and his mum in the first place. Look, there's the harp, there's the queens. Uh-oh, but as Jack picked up hen harp and coins, he heard great footsteps boom. The giant had returned and a voice like thunder filled the room. Fee, fi, fo, fum, the giant roared. I reckon I smell child. He spied Jack in his hiding place and boy, did he go wild. Look, I love this bit because there's lots of books and they've all got the titles on, the three little pigs, Aladdin, Snow White, Rapunzel, the princess and the pea, Rumpelstiltskin, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Books in books. I love that. But Jack was nimble, Jack was quick, and out the door he flew. 
the giant bellowed, just you wait till I catch up with you. As Jack scurried down the beanstalk, the hen squawked anxiously. If that giant gets his hands on us, he'll eat us for his tea. Do you think he's going to get them? They're running, they're running, they're running. Eventually, Jack reached the ground. He called, Mum, bring the axe. He chopped right through the beanstalk and it took a lot of wax. The great plant tumbled down to earth. The giant shouted, hey, and plunged into the compost heap. And he's still stuck there today. And when I read this at school, I normally put my legs up in the air, don't I? <laughs> to be like the giant. The end. So, oh, there's magic beans. I wonder if you can subitize how many beans there are. I can see two and a two and a one. I can see one in each corner, one in the middle. So that would be five. Okay, the end. So that's our story for the next two weeks. Um, next week, I will read you Jim and the Beanstalk. It's a retelling of it that's amazing. We're going to be planting some beans, doing some growing, doing some gardening, one of my favourite things, um, and enjoying this story and acting it out as well. Have a lovely weekend. Okay, lots of love.